Allison, I'm actually standing on the political soapbox here at the Iowa State Fair. It's a small stage surrounded by hay bales, and candidates are given 20 minutes to pitch themselves to anyone who will listen. Hello, Iowa! Hello, Iowa State Fair! Aloha! That's what I call Iowa nice. Over the course of the 10-day Iowa State Fair, more than two dozen presidential hopefuls stepped onto the political soapbox to win over Iowa voters. The candidates really leaned in to their Midwestern roots. My great-great-grandparents settled in Henry County in 1850. We can see Iowa from our porch. For those of you who don't know, uh, my great-aunt and my grandmother, who was born and raised in Des Moines, they actually competed in the Iowa State Fair during the Depression. All the politicians pitched themselves as the one most qualified to unite a divided country. We choose unity over division. We are so much stronger when we care about one another. This is the moment we stand up to racism and divisiveness. This is the moment we bring our people together. Those who are in power seek to tear us apart for their own selfish gain. It is only when we, the people, stand up around this unifying principle of freedom. In the wake of recent mass shootings in Texas and Ohio, the contenders described an urgent need for gun reform. They need action. They need Congress. They need Mitch McConnell to get the, ses the Senate back in session and to pass common sense gun safety legislation. That's what we can do for the people of El Paso and the people of Dayton and everywhere else. Including universal background checks and a renewal of the assault weapons ban. I want universal background checks. I want the outlaw bump stocks. I want to close all the loopholes. But they don't agree on everything. We're able to go out and make sure that everybody is protected by building on Obamacare, restoring restoring the historic deal that we did. The American people want us to move to a Medicare for all single payer program. And that means no deductibles. That means no co-payments, means no premiums, means no out-of-pocket expenses. So the next transformation of the healthcare system has got to be about how do we build a system that reverses chronic diseases that are costing us three and a half trillion dollars a year. And we are punishing young people for the quote-unquote crime of getting a higher education and finding themselves fifty or a hundred thousand dollars in debt. And I said then, and let me say it now more clearly, that in America today, we need to cancel student debt. I do not support Bernie's plan to get rid of student debt in this country. I would rather have free free school in this country than free college in this country. You can make technical school community college and four-year public college tuition free for everyone who wants to get an education we can do all of the things i talked about plus cancel student loan debt for 95 percent of the kids who've got it in a field this large one hopeful decided the best way to stand out was by having the audience do the talking for him one state actually passed a dividend of everyone in that state now gets between one and two thousand dollars a year no questions asked and what state is that and how do they pay for it and what is the oil of the 21st century technology, technology that's right they call it the oil check in alaska and they love it we're going to call this the tech check and we're all going to love it Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.